Okay, fellas, thank you for coming to the Pro Player Resources Network YouTube channel, however you want to call it. Oh, it took me a while, but you know, um, I'm, I'm coming, I'm doing my thing. The promise is kept, the system will be done. Hopefully, next year it's being extended, extended due to the corona. But this system, the app, which I'm currently building, is going to help you to sell your time with dates, earn money with your time, just, just being like a male companion, just dating woman. It will help you to date women, meet women. You can even pay them cash. So it's, it's going to bring cash in the game and uh, it's going to make the game more professional when you use it because there's going to be verification. So it's not going to be this thing between you and a girl and she's promiscuous and she's not unwary and she doesn't trust you. So we're going to change the game. We're going to come with this app, hopefully next year. Currently, I'm just too, too busy with the other app on the Pet Boy channel. You should definitely check it out. In completing it towards a stage that we can just, you know, start playing a little and testing it and not having to develop all the time. So I'm only in developing and testing and designing. Oh, my sex life is bad. But we're all doing it for a good cause. So today, I do want to share a small topic with you guys. I'm going to do hopefully going to do a couple of videos and uh, this is in advance of becoming a you know male companion or just getting your game improved with woman uh, it's a hard time now but you know it's time to study so you could watch these videos and um, so it might be helpful this topic is when you had sex with a woman you will never ever accept her to deny you this um, and this is really important guys. This is really important. This is something um, It's not gonna help you right away to get more clients or to become a gigolo, but it's gonna it's gonna change your personality and um, It's not something that women would appreciate Like most women are thinking that they could exploit you or you know manipulate you with you know giving you sex or not giving you sex That would be just a game changer. You know, they know this pussy has value and even though you're not paying cash, you, you're going to pay in time or you're going to pay by just listening to what I tell you. You just have to do what I say. Could be many, many things you can come up with because we just want something they have. So the deal here is that once you have proven your, your worth and you have had sex with this woman, um, in some sense, she is like uh, signing a deal with you. Like... In her reality, she hopes to sign a deal with you to be the only one having sex with you, right? I mean, not 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 immediately. I mean, if she's dating, she's trying, she's playing around. She's just trying to get the best deal that you will buy your sex from her and just trade your time or trade your commitment or trade your long-term perspectives in return for having sex with her, right? She's just trying and getting the right angle until you say yes I will marry you and you your you and your pussy will you know I will work for it and I'm you're the only one because they have a whole wish list according to what comes with it and you can't do that and you cannot watch the woman when they are bending over in front of you and I don't want you to go after 12 and I don't want you just a whole list and of course you can all talk about these things if they're really like part of the deal if you want to sign the deal right you have to sign the deal but back to the point, what I was talking about. Yeah, the point is that you, once you, from your perspective, had had sex with her, you put in a lot of effort. You took her on a date. You, I mean, you romanticized stuff. You waited. You appreciated her time. Although your time is, is valuable as well, but you told her, like, your time is so valuable. But, you know, like she's the smartest person of the galaxy. And you know, everything will change once you had sex, right? Because then it's like, okay, well, now we had sex, so I know I can get over here. And now the real negotiations start, right? So now she's going to try to influence you in, you know, getting sex and keep putting up with the effort all the time, giving her the things she wants and the answers she needs for a long-term relationship, possibly if she is interested in some kind of deal with you. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, guys, you don't want to be disappointed by a woman when you had sex with her, when she starts denying you sex. Like the first signals, 
are terrible. I mean, if you're just dating a girl and she's she's really starting to play that game, even like I can or I'm too busy or stuff like that comes up, even if you already had sex, so it's not like an additional count, like if this woman, they do the counting, like I had sex with that guy, I had sex with that guy. They're totally not interested in one night stands. So at the point when you had sex with them and they start denying you sex, they're not, you know they're trying, they're starting to play games. They're trying to do the trickery. They're going to try to get the most out of you before you, apparently you didn't do enough effort in requesting sex again. Right? Right. And then they start tra playing tricks on you. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that if they start denying you sex, do not ever, ever accept a decline if you already put in your effort so if you already put in your effort like this is what i'm gonna invest this is how much time we we were supposed to spend because i'm a busy man this is how much money i was planning to spend i'm not gonna spend more money and she's gonna like increase like i want more you know this is going to be a trend. This is going to be a, a repeating thing. She's just testing you. She's not happy enough with what, what you're delivering. And she wants even more. The moment you see this happening, you will never go along. If you go along, you will be crushed. Your money, your money balance will go low. You will always keep on begging for sex. Keep on putting more effort to, just what, to, to get what you want. Because that's going to be the game. You have to stop it right there and tell her, like, this is not going to fly. If you had sex with me, you also did some kind of commitment if you want to proceed with me to fulfill my needs in order to be my girlfriend so we can get to some deal. If she's not getting that, that part of the deal done, you're never going to get the good deal. So you have to eject, you have to cancel. You might think like, yeah, but I had this big opportunity. It's not an opportunity. It's like getting a bad number for a jackpot. She's not giving you the right numbers. She's giving bad numbers. You're not getting the sex. You already infested. You already had sex. Now you want to proceed. Now you want to go to the next level. How much um, uh, of game you got without trying to manipulate me without sex? Just let's proceed. How good are you in the bathroom? How good are your blowjobs? How good can you be on point when I call you for sex? How, how fast? How much time does it take? To get at my place. That's what I want to see. If you're going to be keeping stuck in those stupid games. You're going to waste a lot of time. You're not going to learn about pussy. You're not going to do any exercise. And eventually you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna pay the price for sex. You're going to pay a lot of money and a lot of time for sex. If, at the moment if you start playing the game differently. And, and, and I don't understand. It, it, it might depend on the type of girl you selected. right? So if you notice this kind of shit. You have to go maybe a tier lower. You go to a more uglier girl or whatever makes it a little bit more easier you, because you need to play the game how it's intended for guys so you can get practice hours improve your game improve your bedroom skills um get better negotiation skills what to invest in return for uh your your, your free time how you want the relationship to be set up and how the sex is going to be divided how you're gonna you know find an agreement on the sex part if she's still going to be willing and not you know, I mean, a woman could say, I got a headache, but how much effort is she going to put to not having to say, I got a headache, because even if she got a headache, to just to know, like, I want to please the guy, because I have to put in some additional effort. You want women to get in a situation that they're going to put in additional effort, and by declining sex or, or finding excuses just to bother you, is not showing any kind of additional effort. You should just step up, bail out. Guys, I hope I helped you with this subject. It's a really important subject doesn't necessarily have to do with the job, but it has to do with how you manage your sex because sex is, is important for your health, money, your life, and your success because that's going to be a great pull on attracting women, but also not attracting women, just having a great life in general. And there will be times you will be without sex, and but never ever let a woman manipulate you with sex because you will let go of all your other focus points which you need to invest in like your health, for workout, getting cash, you know, building your success, doing your studies. You don't want this to get interrupted by women who are starting playing games with sex, which is crucial for your health. So once they deliver the sex, get them on point. So if you want to keep on delivering this, keep on schedule, bitch. Keep on schedule. Otherwise, you're going to be ejected. Get to that level. Get to that level. Guys, I hope to see you guys next time. And if you got any questions, let me know. Sign up on the website.
like I said, next time I will, uh, next year I will definitely answer all your questions, answer all the applications. Right now I'm a bit busy, um, but you will be uh, answered. I promise. See you guys. Take care.